Hello, welcome to Uni MMO Creators. I'm your host, James Proctor, and in today's episode, we are going to be looking at a introduction to part one of our UMMORPG um, tutorial series on creating a development sandbox. Now, what do I mean by development sandbox? I mean a um, a world that we can use to start developing um, new features and testing them. It's going to be more of a test bed than an actual game, but it's more like a tech demo than an actual game. So that's what I mean by a development sandbox. So part one, development of the development sandbox. We will go over the UMMORPG import and setup. We'll go over what it's capable of doing out of the box and get it all set up in our Unity project. Um, we'll then go over Unistorm import and setup. We'll go over Playfab import and setup. We will then start the creation of a game manager, which will control the client flow from login character creation, character selection, and then into the world. We will then handle account registration and authentication using Playfab. Uh, we'll then work on character creation. And I've already started prototyping the character creation. And it will end up being something like this right here. So you can select your different bodies, you can select different hairstyles, you can select different faces, and then there's a archer class, a barbarian class, a knight class, and a wizard class. So that's what the character creation will look like. Um, we'll then do character selection and then we will start setting up the zone that we'll be using. We'll go over nav mesh creation and fine tune in the nav mesh. Um, we'll then do mob setup, a dynamic mob spawner, NPC setup and spawning. We'll add some items, we'll create some quests, and we'll create some new skills for our player. And then we'll do the part one wrap up. So that's a quick introduction the world that we will be creating.
the world that we will be creating you know, something like that. be areas for four factions, a human faction over there, an elven faction over there, a undead faction over there, and a uh, another faction over there. Goblin faction over there. Um, we'll have Unistorm completely synced up between server and client. The server will be responsible for creating all the weather effects and everything on the client. Um, so that will all be working as expected. We'll have both um, static mobs that have static spawning points, as well as dynamic um, spawn points. So this is a very brief look at what we will be developing over the course of the next few videos. And just a general overview of where this series will be going after we get the development uh, sandbox built. Then we'll be moving on to developing our own custom features for UMMORPG and starting to get more into a game. So, I'll have the next video tomorrow. Until then, have a good night.